Welcome back to the Balanced Life of Teletainment, the Good Morning Niger show. We get some very, very kajad, kajad, kajad guests in the building. They get one guy who done a post show for three years now. Finally, we don't catch him. If I tell you, say I catch the guy, you say, go wonder whether I'm catch him, I ain't catch me. Now, this particular festival, I will not say when I don't watch Papa Jojo Exercise Studio with the show now, but this guy who we don't catch, let me the organizer of, as they call him, Africa's biggest fi or largest fitness, uh, may I call it fitness festival, if you like, and they call him Fit Farm Fest. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we want to join us welcoming, first of all, 2VA in the building. And then after 2VA, we get another lady. Now we know, say, uh, fitness this year, a lot of things don't center around not just physical health, but mental health. So we get another lady in the building. She's not my sister from Edo State, uh, but um, we're a sister past sister anyway. Anyway, <laughs> but she joined us in the building, and she now also. So join us in welcoming 2VA and Osa in the building. Welcome. Yeah, thank, thank you so you. much. All thank right, so let's start much. from 2VA. 2VA, uh, the other time, we just come up for you now. Tell me to show me your power. I say, oh, God, show me your power. <laughs> TV, show me your power. <laughs> Maybe for TV. Maybe for TV. Maybe for TV. Ah, ah, go take, how, many, how, many, how many years did it take you to get this kind of chest and this kind? You go walk now. You go walk, you go chop, you go carry weight. That's what we did do. Um. See, I know that by stroke of fate or luck, if you say me if you get this kind of hand. Ah, you go get on. <laughs> my hand so like power let go. I'd be like you before now. Not like. I'd be like you now. Child, so you I get up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now coming into Fit Farm Fest, the biggest, it actually is the biggest. Uh, the biggest fitness festival. In fact, they say that the whole of Africa. Because me, don't, I never attend them before, but I don't see the kind of people where they attend. The kind, and it's not just fitness. Nobody say people just did it. They'll say jump up, bend down, no, do press up. Sure. So many different things they happen. What me inspire you to have a, as we will talk, a conglomerate mm. of this kind of different, different activities inside one fitness um, festival for one day? So now, now passion bring me come this thing. Um, from time, I don't already want they do things where they sporty, running around, playing football, and they do basketball. But uh, growing up, as you get older, you go kind of think of how you go day healthy, not just, you get what I mean? So we they add diet to it, and they do, they do a lot of fitness. So on doing that, we they meet people. And when they meet people, you go, they understand different ways to get at being healthy. Now, so we think, I'm saying, okay, wait till we feel do, we say, we go feel introduce this whole system to, Nigeria and that's how Fit Farm Fest come. Mm. It's beautiful. And, and how, how, how the challenge come be? Now, I noticed that three years now Fit Farm Fest done yes. a run for. How difficult has it been? Uh, it's it tough. It's tough. Because obviously we, ju we just they enter this whole system of being fit. So when they introduce them to Nigerians, you have to try and introduce a different way. We be safe then go understand which they try to talk. Mm. So that's been the difficulty. But as we done day now, 3,500 people now they come for the event every year. So you, you don't need to have another country before, before you can come in. No, no, no. But this year, we they bring some people from Botswana, mm. Zambia, and Rwanda. So we're trying to make it full Pan African. Mm. And men, are, men and women, how they come men, and women. men and women. Men and women. I would like the idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, the beautiful thing about Fit Fan Fest, where I like, we say, not be just fitness, now they talk about, not just physical fitness, as they see for some of the pictures, yeah. we will just roll for our screen. Now, you can see where they check people blood, they do blood tests, yes. they do uh, health their, check, you know, health check it. and everything. So we also, they talk about not just physical fitness, but mental health. fitness, you know, their healthy, their health status. And I make us a day here. So basically, I see, I don't see this my way. Right? <laughs> so now we know, say, this year, a lot of emphasis, they don't leave plenty of emphasis on mental health. I know it's a blessing that waiting on the carry come this year. So what it means spark up that reason, say, okay, this year we won't talk about mental health and what do they intend to do uh, come this year's Fit Farm Fest? Um, you know, say, as society be now, anytime a person here say, if they hear mental health, the first thing they come person might say that, ah, colo mental, yeah. or if, like, say, they decrease. They run from the person. <laughs> or they don't blow one powder from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> from a <laughs> 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 But this year, what if they try to do the same? Too much, I mean, news don't plenty on top of where they jump, mm. on top of people, where different cases just they happen. So we try to tell people, say, see, oh, mental health concern you. Oh. Not be just about, say, build muscle, ca carry weight. Your mind got the same pair for the work where they do, for the life where they live. And as it affects you, now, so it affects me. And, you know, we try to look for ways where people go take understand, say, this thing will be something where we go, they ashamed about. Or something we say we go they shy away from. Mental health is is your life, and you guys face them. You guys understand how they be. You guys understand the kind of things where you feel to take control them, um, take manage all this stress, manage life challenges, different things. So mm -hmm. uh, it's very true. In fact, sometimes last week we get one report say uh, one of our uh, organ for health uh, ministry for Nigeria been talking about twenty percent of our population they mentally ill. 
But when I say it's in accord, I call it doubt myself. <laughs> when I say, but I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I check myself too sometimes <laughs> because I mean, Nigeria stress plenty, mm. and people don't really understand this aspect of health. So this time we try to we say, see, you guys understand what will happen. You know, as your body be, you know, as your mind be, and then if issue come up, know where to find the solution, know where to go to. Nobody say until one person come more clot before you know the person. Mm. No, they no. say many are more, few are roaming. <laughs> but, but I would like to ask now, uh, to be how, how do we connect mental health to physical fitness? You know, I no my, no verse they put you on this. No. Part, but I know, of course, you know the two they go hand in hand. You know, and now they bring the two together. So as you you are a fitness trainer and all this, you they, you they get issues with people. People will get mental health. How they affect their physical fitness? Uh, because you know, say Nigeria they very stressful. Mm. Every day you feel the inside traffic four hours from work walk your guy go shout on top of you. So anytime where you get weekend, Saturday, you get time, just get up, run, eat well, eat the right things, we go help your nutrition, we go help you build your mind. So now so we they preach mental health, join them with fitness. Mm. So they help you once your mind is strong, you go feed the execute things where you want to execute for work, for house, for the family. I run early in the morning, but I realize I can't get one hamstring injury. <laughs> so I can't, I can't reduce the running. But make I just quickly ask you now, for, for, for someone like me, or leave me out of the picture. Now, for people where they wake up very early to work and then they close late, how they go feel infuse fitness? You know, the, the slightest um, fitness exercises into their daily life. Because we know, say, now the classic example of a Lagos, of a Lagos person be that you wake up early, you uh, grind yeah. till late in the night, you don't come back. Sometimes you know we chop healthy. You don't go chop until late when you come back. They say your belly don't be big. They say they drink beer, no be beer. And a late night food, they cause some. How do you infuse fitness into that kind of person's life? The way me and they preach, I'm different too. Me and they preach, say, build your life around fitness. Ah. Now, the way me, me and they see them. Mm. So mm. once you, everything way they do, once you don't, you don't build them, say, okay, now so I want to work out this morning. I want to do 30 minutes before I go office. Mm. Now so you go do them. But people, they do them in reverse. People will talk, say, ah, they go office, which time I go get. But no. Do it the other way because fitness now is the important part. Long, long life now is what they look for. Mm, yeah, brother, it's not flesh and blood that reveal that to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so tell us what to expect. We know so we get a very short time left. What would they expect for this year's Fit Fan Fest? Anything new where they add this year? We know they the past three years. Uh, so, like, so, like, so I talked earlier on, they were bringing Africa together. Mm -hmm. So, the things where you don't know now, things where they happen around you, they try to bring things where they happen around different parts of Africa. Let's try and understand different ways to go about things. We they bring in a lot of new healthy food vendors we did this year. So it's not just about fitness, there's also healthy food. So that you understand diet, understand how to chop, understand how to chop well. And because me and the preach say food they good, every food they good, just understand portion and how to control it. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of new things happening. There's a 5K run where they start, a very colorful run, people they enjoy them. So they start, on the wrong no, no, just within VI, just brief on five, five kilometers. Well, I don't run too far. Not we talk mental health. Yeah, no, no, we did. We brief on VI. No, we did. We did. Mental health, I did run for. All right, and then um, also, what, what exactly are we are we also looking forward to? What kind of, which kind of physical checks, which kind of health checks we go go do there? Um, every, everything, body, basic medical checkups mm. go do there. Even mental health screening is good day there. But nobody me say, you go come in, come go out, say, this Saturday, they don't tell you, say, oh, you're no, my no, no. <laughs> I mean, make everybody day happy, okay. but also make everybody learn. And they experience them, um, but also learn. So as you they learn, you they experience fun. So as you they go out, double package, and then you carry come out. Okay. When and where this one will happen? So they happen this Saturday, November 24th, for Hard Rock Cafe Beachfront. It starts at 8 a.m., ends at 3 p.m. Very quick, just come. You can still go to your wedding after. Just come for it in the morning. Quickly, but no, we'll, we'll put the wedding clothes inside our bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. We'll and plenty of events entered that road. So oh, we'll plenty. Cross road. So we'll just cross road. Enter, enter the next one. <laughs> As we hear your voice said to me, let's say you did, your, your voice said, so kind of physical fitness. Then they, they train <laughs> voice. strong. They be strong. Then <laughs> <laughs> they train <laughs> voice. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank for you. the studio. And we definitely hope we go there. Definitely, definitely. I see when I don't invite us to come. So we go definitely there. To come see as it's in the B. We don't. We don't hear of them severally, and we know a lot, a lot of people they did there. So definitely, it will be a chance for us to come there, see how they happen, and for people to see us too. All right, thank you very thank much. You. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos, when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.